before I talk about this movie, I just wanted to give a little history background of this movie. Uh, I went to see this movie. It was like a double feature for the movie. I was going to watch Rainfield, but I decided to watch this instead, which I think was a better choice. But I saw this. It was before it aired. So I, I did this little double feature, and I was fucking loving this movie from beginning to end. I, we got to the middle half. I was already, like, enthralled. I was like, all right, this is, this is going to be probably my favorite movie of the year. And then the, uh, the, the shit shut down. Like, the electricity came out, came off or something. It, it, the whole theater literally shut down and they gave us refunds they gave us tickets for a day man here's a guest to pass to come back and i was really bummed out of course i came back to see air that night it definitely it, thankfully it, it came back to the theater it was just not a good day in the theater pretty much it was tough but i i got to see this two days later in my own time which i'm glad glad i got to see this yeah the movie that we're talking about is suzume Suzume is an animated drama, and it's about this girl named Suzume, who's, she's, she's a young girl, she has this little uh, uh, personal thing that she's going through, per, uh, personal shit that I don't want to get into, I feel like you should watch this, and there's, there's this door that she sees, of course, before that she meets this guy named, I forgot the guy, uh, the guy's name, but he, he, he tells her, oh, this, you, he has, she has a little crush on him, pretty much tries to find and this door is there it fucking opens and then she she had to close it but then she sees a big fucking worm popping out she's like what the hell's going on she returns back to the area to close the door and the film starts this movie is fucking amazing uh it's quite possibly my favorite film of the year i can't say because john wick is a, another amazing film i have to see it more than once i've only seen it once in theaters though but I, i'm definitely gonna see it again though but this might be the, my favorite film of the year. It is truly an amazing film with just the creativity. It is something so different. I love it. The creativity is great. And just the story of this girl with her personal shit that she just goes around closing doors. And I don't, again, I don't want to spoil much because I feel like if you go into this movie blind, you're going to have a magical experience in, those four, in the first like 45 minutes where you're going to be like, holy fuck. Like, if you didn't see the trailer, don't see the trailer, I feel like. I feel like you should go into this shit blind. It's it's a great it's a great experience, and this movie is truly amazing. But let's start off with the performances of the film. We got the main girl, Suzume, who's this high school girl, 17. She has a little tragedy that happened to her in the past, and she's just doing her high school shit, but she meets this boy that she kind of has a fond for, and she, she he tells her, like, oh, man, do you know where this place is? And she she wants to follow him. She's like, oh, you want? She wants to talk to him. And she sees she sees the door. She releases something, and then the film goes on. And she's just dealing with the the shit that's happening in her life at the moment. And she's great. She's a really good protagonist. She's a likable character, and she's she, she's this character that you really like. She's just this innocent, likable person. And she's going through this. It's like a road trip movie, which I don't. I like. I love road trip movies, and. I thought her, she was a really good protagonist with a really great character development. And just you really feel for the character, and you really want her to succeed at by the end, and, and you really dig it. You also got the main dude who they call he's the he's a closer. That's what he's known for closing the doors so the fucking big worm don't release and destroy Japan. And he closes them doors, and he closes them doors, and so shit happens to him in the in the movie that I ain't gonna say. And he he pretty much needs uh, Suzume his help. And um, he's good. He's a likable guy. He's, you can very much tell he, he 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 has this fucking purpose, man. He also has a life that's not just being a closer. He has this life that he wants to live. I and mean, what happens throughout the film, you really just want him to, you know, <laughs> to fucking live through this. And I thought he's a really cool supporting actor. He's pretty good in the movie. I liked him. You also got probably the cutest fucking character I've seen in a movie in a while is the kid, the cat. There's a cat in this movie. I ain't gonna say what the fuck the cat is because it's just, I don't want to say it. But that cat is cute as fuck and you really like the cat. And, <laughs> and, and by the end, you really love the cat. Uh, such a cute, cute character. You also you also got the aunt who who, who cares for Suzumi and takes care of her after the, her mom died. She was taking care of her, her, her niece and she's worried for her, and she's trying to get her, and trying to see what's happening, and you know, because maybe she, maybe she's rebelling, but she just wants to make sure that her niece is okay. 
And I thought she was pretty good in the movie. She's a likable character. And all around, all the supporting actors, every character in this film is, uh, is just good. Like, even the littlest character has something that you're like, okay, I'm gonna remember this character. There's actually something there. Every character in this film has actual, like, care and purpose. And that's why I like about this movie. And all around, the performances throughout the whole movie are fucking amazing. I thought the characters and the drama. I saw this film in, J in Japanese. I didn't see English dub. Because me personally, I like, if a movie's from Japan, I like to see it in its original language. That's just, that's just how I roll, man. I don't mind reading subtitles. But, yeah, I thought the performances all around were great. The direction by Mr. I don't want to pronounce this dude's name wrong because I think he's a really amazing director. Makado Sinkai. Of course, Mr. Makado Sinkai. Uh, <laughs> with the green screen, you probably just saw me fucking throw my fucking computer. It's, uh, there's a couch there, so you don't have to worry. Uh, <laughs> but Makado Sinkai is, of course, a director known for the movies Your Name, 5 Centimeters Per Second, and Weathering With You. An amazing anime director, possibly the best in, in, in anime at the moment. He's probably the best film director when it comes to these movies. He's like fucking, you can very much tell this man has talent. He's going to be the best for a while, you know. If, since Hayato Miyazaki's retirement, this man has said, thankfully been the one that you can go to his movies. But ah, we're going to see some shit good. And I thought the direction is amazing. This fucking movie is amazing. I don't know if this movie was shot in IMAX. I hope it was because if I, I would have gone to an IMAX theater... To see this movie. This movie is fucking marvelous. The animation is just some of the best. Some of the shots. Some of it is fucking flawless. And the writing is as good as you is good. You know what I mean? Of course, the guy gets a little backlash because he has this little routine with his movies where it's like a romance, where you know shit like that. If that's his routine, I don't mind it because he's doing the best at that right now. He's fucking awesome. I thought the writing is great. You really care for the characters and you truly want them to succeed throughout this movie. And you just you just go through this journey with them and you really just have this bond with these uh, with the Suzume and the guy. It's just amazing. The chemistry is great. I think everybody worked well. Suzume and the guy they have great relationship. You can very much tell Suzume <laughs> like the guy is just. He's, yeah, he's just, he's there. He's doing his shit. <laughs> but Suzumi wants to help him, and he kind of needs the help. And uh, they have this really great bond, and I thought their, their chemistry is top-notch. The animation, my God, is the best. I mean, fucking hell. I hope this movie gets some sort of recognition, because it deserves it. It is a truly an amazing animated film. The shots and just how it looks is the animation and the scenes and the sh how it's shot. There's shots where it's, like, breathtaking. You're like, fuck. This is this is something, and I, I, it's some of the best I've seen it in in a while. And the music, the score is great. The song is pretty cool as well. Like right when that song starts playing, you're like, oh shit, you get a little goosebumps. You're like, oh fuck, we're in it now. <laughs> the music is amazing and just truly a fucking masterful job by Mr. Uh, Mikado Senkai. Definitely one of his best works. I've never seen his work, sadly. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna have to go see your name, man, because I haven't heard of this dude. Like, when I saw Suzume, I was truly just like, oh, this looks like an amazing movie. This this got my interest. But I didn't know who did the movie or who directed it. And I searched it up. I'm like, oh, fuck, he did your name. i never seen your name. But I know that's an amazing movie. So I'm like, all right, this guy knows what he's, what he's doing. So, yeah, this movie is such an amazing movie. And it's quite possibly right now my favorite of the year. I, don't, I can't say. I have to see it a few more times to, to give my true opinion on that but other than that this movie is a, a, a damn near flawless film and for that i'm gonna give it my five out of five stars suzumi's fucking awesome if you want to watch it in japanese or english stuff i don't give a fuck just go see this in a movie it's really a, a masterful film so those are my thoughts for suzume uh and yeah see you guys in the next review <laughs>